Hi darlings, welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about dress forms and more specifically about adjustable dress forms like the one you see behind me. Now I always get asked a lot about my dress form so I'm very happy to be finally making this video. Now this video will be in three segments. In first segment I will talk about different types of dress forms. In second part I will show you up close how the adjustable dress form looks like and how it functions and then in the third part I will answer the questions about dress forms that you submitted through Instagram. Before we move to this video I just want to emphasize that this video is not sponsored and I bought this dress form three and a half years ago with my own money and I have been using ever since. So without any further ado let's move to the video. So basically, there are three different types of dress forms. The standard size dress forms, the adjustable dress forms, and the customized size dress forms. Now, standard sized dress forms are the most convenient ones. They are usually the cheap option, there are plenty of different design variations, and they are very easy to buy. However, because they come in a standard size range only, like 34, 36, 40, XL, and etc., it may not be a right fit for you if you do not have a standard sized dress form. For example, my top part of the body is different size than the bottom part of my body so I personally cannot use a standard size dress form because it I will either will be too big or too small for my figure. Now second option of dress forms is the adjustable dress form which means the dress form has a few connection points that allows you to adjust it to your own figure. Now these dress forms of course are a bit higher priced than the standard size dress forms. For example I paid for mine 120 euros which is something about 150 dollars and I do consider this as investment piece. Also compared to the standard size version, uh, adjustable dress forms are a bit more difficult to find and also there is far less design options. So basically you will get a, a single color dress form like I have. And the third last option is the fully customized size dress form. Now this can go in two directions, either you make it yourself, for example, I think we all saw the duct uh, tape version of the dress form, or you can order a ready-made custom dress form made exactly to your measurements. No matter which option you choose, either to make it or to buy custom sized version, they always are a bit more investment requiring. Either they are requiring more time to make it or they are requiring a bigger investment money-wise if you're buying it. Also, one big downside uh, of customized size dress form that if your body tends to change in measurements throughout the time, then the dress form will no longer fit you in some time. Now, once we talked about the different types of dress forms, let's zoom into this beautiful dress form and see how it functions. So, here is how the dress form looks up close. And let's take a look detail by detail. So, at the top there is a small foam to pin your pins. As you can see, the entire dress form is covered with fabric and it is slightly padded so that you can easily pin your pins. Now moving down, there is the first adjustment point on the bust and as you can see, there are different adjustments that you can make from 84 centimeters to 86 centimeters to 89 centimeters to 91 centimeters to 94 centimeters to 97 centimeters to 100 centimeters in the bust. Now the adjustment is made very easily, you simply push this button and then you rotate it and you can see how the dress form is spreading out. Now on the bust area there are in total four adjustment pieces like this one. So
So to get to the desired side, you have to adjust every rotational part to the desired measure like this. Now moving to the torso area, torso area has two adjustment points. The first is as we saw in the bust area, there is again this rotational item where you can adjust to different measurements from 64 centimeters to 80 centimeters in the width. Again, for adjustment of clocks here. And one more additional point that you can adjust is this area right here. So as you can see, mine is a bit opened up by about three centimeters, or you can adjust it and push it back so that the torso area is shorter, or you can push it down to make the torso area longer. So the torso adjustment is made from the inside of the dress form. It's very easy to do but it's very difficult to showcase on the video so I hope you will just trust my word. And now we're moving to the hip area again for different rotational points where you can adjust the hip width from 86 centimeters to 102 centimeters. Now the stand has the adjustability in height so you can either push it down or push it up and make the dress form either higher or lower. And at the bottom we see this little thing which is dedicated to marking the hemline, however I personally have never used this item. So here is how the dress form looks like. So now, once we saw how the dress form looks like up close, it's time to answer your questions that you submitted through Instagram. So the first question, do you need one at all for home sewing? Very good question. Actually, always when I'm asked what you need to get professional results at home, I always say that three items are a must. First, you definitely need a good sewing machine that has perfect straight stitch, no matter if it's a domestic one or an industrial one. Second, you need an overlock for neat seam finishes and preferably a four thread overlock. And third item that definitely you need is a steam iron that can provide a big steam amount under short period of time. So these three things are non-negotiable and if you have those three items, you will be able to achieve professionally looking items at home. Which means that all other items are nice to have items, but they are definitely not a must-have ones. So for me personally, based on that, the dress form is not a must-have item, but I personally like to have it because it does speed up my process for fitting and for sewing. So I do like it and I do find it useful. However, it is definitely not a must-have item. Second question, I was told not to get one. They said that they are flimsy and not good quality. Do you agree? Yes and no. So basically, yes, adjustable dress forms are a bit more flimsy because they have those adjustment points and always if item has more connection points, the item tends to be more flimsy than the item without one. However, the dress form that you see behind me, I've been using every single day probably for three and a half years and it still looks as good as new uh, and I personally don't find it very inconvenient that it's a bit more flimsy than the standard non-adjustable one. Are they worth the money? They are quite expensive where I live. What to look for? Depends. I generally don't like to spend a lot on my sewing items. So the dress form that you see behind me, I paid 120 euros and I think that it was on the cheaper scale of the adjustable dress forms. So yes, for me it was worth the money. However, if the item was, let's say, 300 euros or above that, Probably I would not get as much use out of that amount of money compared to the amount that I paid. How can you adjust if you are longer in areas than the form allows? 
Now this is a very good question so when you are choosing the adjustable dress form make sure it does have that adjustability in the torso area like I showed a bit earlier in the video because otherwise if you're not having that a possibility to adjust the torso the adjustable dress form kind of loses its purpose for example my own torso is about four centimeters longer than the standard one so for me having this adjustability in the torso area is a must and the last question, I use an adjustable dress form for fitting client outfits but still have challenges with some kind of figures, especially short people. Though it's fine for on the mannequin but when they wear it, it still has fitting issues like excess at the back and shoulders and immobility of the arms because of the sleeves. Very good question, I have the possibility to observe quite a few professional seamstresses in my life and none of them use dress forms for fitting the client. Basically they are using the dress forms to uh, either do ironing or just small adjustments to see the general fit but they are fitting the entire garment on the specific client's figure when the client is wearing it. So my advice to you is to fit items on the client's body instead of the dress form because dress forms are still not the same as the client's figure and all of our figures have some nuances that can be best fitted when the item is fit on the body. So this is it what I wanted to show you today on this video and I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Special thanks to the people who submitted questions through Instagram. Thank you for watching the video, don't forget to subscribe, bye!